Hello everybody, somebody requested a tutorial on how to make characters sleep in a bed in RPG Maker 2. In this tutorial, I'm going to make it so that as soon as you enter a map, a character can be seen sleeping in a bed. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to the object placement, but if you haven't already, create either a dungeon or a map. And then once you've done that, go to the object placement and create your own, if you have not already. In this case, I'm going to use the default called Preset In, and I'm going to go to Edit. There's already a couple of beds here, but I'm going to change one of them. Instead of Bed A, I'm going to change it to Bed A Used. You can see that at the bottom there. And the difference is that the sheets are actually higher than Bed A. And I'm going to save that. So make sure that you place your bed, and then the next thing you have to do is create an event. This is going to be uh, the character that sleeps in the bed, and I'm just going to call him Sleeper. I want to take the time to give a quick shout out to Drew from the Pavilion Boards. Um, he taught me how to use uh, keyboard input for my emulator. If you want to know more about that, go to pavilionboards.com to figure out how to get that set up. So you can use your keyboard to type in stuff, so you don't have to use your joystick to uh, input every single character, which is a pain in the ass. I'm going to choose a model. It can be any model you want, it doesn't really matter. Preferably. Uh, one without a hat, so it's kind of weird to sleep with a hat on, so let's see. I'll choose young male. The direction is going to be the direction that the bed is facing, so in this case it's going to be south. And that's about it. We're going to save that. Get out of there. And I'm going to place the event, so go to scripts, event placement. If you don't already have an event placement, go ahead and create one now. I'm going to use the default called Preset In. And I'm going to place them right at the foot of the bed. It doesn't really matter what height. I mean, you could place them way up here. It doesn't really matter as long as he's at the foot of the bed as opposed to here. Because I don't think that would work. And also, I'm going to delete this guy, because there's no point in having a duplicate unless they're twins or something. Which, in this case, I don't think they are. Alright, so after you place your event, now we have to create a script. So, go to Scripts. And I'm going to call this Enter Map. The first thing that we have to do is take control of the new event that we just that we just created so go to events control change and select sleeper and then we're gonna uh, lay him down so go to events movement lay down it's gonna be 90 for the angle positive 90. If you go the other way, uh, negative 90, that means that the character is going to be face down. So if you want him to be face down, you could do negative 90, but in this case, I think it's more appropriate to have it positive 90. Okay, so height is kind of difficult to explain, but it's, it's the point at which an object tilts. So at the default, at zero, the object is going to tilt at its feet. If I set it to 8, the object is going to tilt right about in the center or the navel of the character. If I set it at 16, the character is going to tilt at the very top of its head. Um, this is important if you want to shift the character uh, forwards or backwards in the bed. Like if you want him more towards the foot of the bed, you can change the height, or more towards uh, the headboard. 
and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna set it at zero for now. Right now, the, the event is floating in midair, so we have to move him down a bit. So let's go to Events, Movement, Vertical, Move. Remember that this is the exact coordinate. This isn't adding to the current coordinate, this is the exact coordinate. So in this case, I'm gonna make him go down to 30. And this is gonna be different depending on your map. Like, if the bed is higher up, you might want to set the height higher. So it's different depending on the height of the bed. And I'm gonna change the motion to weight. Let's go to events, effects, motion change, weight, and then for the speed, maybe around 30 ish. We need to close his eyes, so let's go to events, effects, look, change look to sleep, and for the model, it doesn't really matter. All right, so that's pretty much it. One thing that I should tell you is that for enter map scripts like this one, Sometimes there are glitches. In my experience, there are glitches uh, because the game has to process all these things and sometimes it takes a fraction of a fraction of a second, but sometimes that's just enough time to see glitches in the game. Like, for example, you might see the character floating in midair for a split second because it's trying to process this lay down command and then it's going to go through the vertical move. So in order to um, make it so that there are no glitches in this, what we have to do is we have to change the color of the screen to pitch black at the very beginning of the script. So go to screen display, screen effects, color, change it all to black. Now this is all, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I recommend it so that there are no glitches. It's very possible that there will be. Alright, so the transparency should be at 0% and time should be at 0. Copy that and put it at the very end. And then edit that, change the transparency to 100% and then change time to about... It doesn't really matter, you can do whatever you want, 15 frames or 30. I recommend somewhere around 15 to 30 frames. And that should be good. And save that. Now we have to create a system event. So go to scripts, events. And I'm just going to call it enter map, the same as the script. The type is going to be system. And the apply is going to be the script that we just created. And save that. Now we have to apply that system event to the world organization. If you haven't already, go ahead and create a world organization. And you should also apply all of your things like uh, the object placement and the event placement and whatever map you have. Um, so do that. Go to the script tab and where it says enter map, choose the system event that we created called enter map and save that. And that should be it. Let's see if it works. All right, there he is. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I will see you later. Goodbye.